Surprise video time. I'm being really bad at this this year, but I shouldn't I shouldn't say that. Like, yeah, I'm still planning on a Robot Masters video. I'm trying to do a Legacy Hotshot roundup because I got the Powerlink special one with Jolt and everything. I want to go through that. It's been a year since I got Legacy Hotshot. It's been a whole year and I still haven't spoken about it on camera, but whatever. We've got a box here. It's very special because just after TFM, our Lee, our, our favourite down under correspondent of the of the tractor worship, he said, can I send you something weird? And of course I said yes. And I've just got it through. And as soon as I, I opened the box and just saw all of this, I thought, no, I've, I've got to I've got to share it with people. So um, look at this. Look, it's all it's all sidewaysy faces that he's drawn on there. Um, and there's there's like there's words around the side, but that I can't I haven't deciphered that yet. Maybe maybe I'll work out what it says when I flatten it out. And uh, a good bit of twine on there. Lee likes his string. Let's see what we've got in there. I've got no idea. I mean, the, obviously, the sideways faces on the side are a bit of a clue. Um, but beyond that, it's like no idea. It could be absolutely anything. If you can tell me what that means, I'll be quite grateful. <laughs> oh my God, no way. No way. Are you kidding me? Do you know how expensive these are? It's the Robot Masters Double Face, which is, it's it's just sideways again, but like, it's, uh, what's it called? Road Pig from G2, um, but done up in purple and yellow. So he looks like sideways. And this was, well, yeah, this would have been the first sideways toy after the Armada one because it was like 2004. So, yeah. Ah, oh, it's really cool. That's like the one Robot Masters figure that I would really have been after. And it's just so hard to get. And he's just gone and sent me it. What are you playing at? Oh, OK, let's let's have a look at him. Um robot masters packaging is uh, again I'm, I'm still kind of wanting to do that video um robot masters packaging is really overwrought there's just so much of it it's like you've got a, you, you slide out what is in the first box and then you have to move the cardboard flap and you've got to pull out some trays and there's like three different bits of plastic i do appreciate the fact you can put them back in the box so easily that, that's kind of nice i keep all mine in their boxes i keep all the boxes for them just because it feels kind of special because they're you know takara stuff from long ago and i remember again i feel like this is just going to turn into the robot masters video um because i would tell you in that that long ago back in like 2004 um i went to a local convention where there was always this one guy who had like a stall of transformers and it was all like he had loads of import stuff so he had the robot masters there and he was basically selling me on them as being the new thing from japan um so i went away with one of them and um didn't really know what I was looking at for most of it, to be honest. So there's something, you know, exotic and, you know, different about all of that stuff that I feel is worth kind of hanging on to beyond just the toys themselves. But anyway, here is Double Face. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. This is a strange sort of shaped man, isn't it? It's like, that. Is that really how you turn? A motorcycle into a man like have that go upside down and make his tummy and yeah um he's got a big wheel hanging off his back he's got a wheel hanging off his leg oh is that is that his knees all the way down there like that but his his legs will do that and his arms will do that and all that and he's got his light up thing there i don't know how it lights up i don't know if it's got batteries in or anything like that i'll find that out but that's cool that's that's so cool because it honestly is just the single robot masters figure that i've really been wanting because it's sideways again it's you know it's just something that's very different because most of robot masters was just sort of g1 characters again but then there were a lot of brand new things as well like what's he called bound rogue that sort of like sonic the hedgehog colored tasmania kid anyway <laughs> These are some of the most impenetrable instructions I've ever seen. It's it's apparently only like three steps. It's really simple, but I, it's really not clear how you're supposed to even start it off. 
<laughs> We've got there though. This is a very nice bike. Um, I had no idea how this figure works. Apparently it's deceptively simple. Um, you, you just sort of lie him down and crumple him up. <laughs> it's, that's really good though. Like it all actually clicks in. You don't have to worry about one thing. I really just, it gets on my nerves. It's like a lot of motorbike transforms. I got Cybertron Hightail not very long ago. He's like gorgeous as a bike. But when you have to put two halves of a wheel together and you've got to match up where the pegs go, it's such a pain in the ass. There's nothing like that with this because the wheels don't split. It's nice. And I, I like the bikes that don't look like, you know, MotoGP superbike fare. Like this is something that you might actually see on the road. And that's great. It's got, it's got like DF and stuff written on him. Gorgeous detail. I'm going to have to find some watch batteries and get his... His glowing tailpipe working but that's brilliant yes Mikey Wars time yeah that's yeah mm, they go quite nice together actually yeah well thank you Lee that's really sort of spurred me on to do the Robot Masters video now that I've got another one I've got a really good one to look at that is, that is brilliant just immaculate vibes on the go there yes oh Thank you. You probably had an absolutely awful look at this through this video because the light is so bad in here. But um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Oh, it's like an early Christmas present. So on that note, um, if I don't see you beforehand, have a lovely crimbo for me, won't you? In a bit now.